right now. So we're still a little, they're still having trouble getting this thing going, all right? So uh, there are two positions here. So right now your first position is on this pullback right here. If you get a close and reverse up here, trade one is gonna be right here, right there, close and reverse. And trade two is there, right there, nice snowman down to 33.28. So pound dollar is on the table for a buy, a sell. All right. Same thing here. We tried to trade this all last night too. We finally got the breakout after that and see how they telegraphed. All they did was come down here and telegraph, all right? And then they pulled it back up and down she goes during the night, all right? We still have room left. Uh, we're targeting 153 down there. MACD tells you you're clearly a seller right there. So uh, three musketeers say we're trying to go down, we're trying to go down, we're trying to go down, <clears throat> trying to go down, we were trying to go down, and we're trying to go down again. All right, so this is going to be basically you're in a close and reverse right now. Let's take it to a 10 minute chart and uh, it's still a sideways move. So when it comes back up to the top, all right, advanced traders will take it at the top. All right. Uh, if you're a newbie, you wait for the break at the bottom. All right. So uh, the bottom is right here. As you can see right there. All right. So what am I going to need? I'm going to need a break, hook and go break, hook and go. That's trade one. Trade two is below the day chart bottom right there, right there. All right, so trade two there. All right, how do I trade it? One third of my lots, two thirds of my lots. All right, so there you go. Pound yen is on the table, and it's close to happening, folks. You see, they're going to take this. They're 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 taking it as positive for them. The pound boys are. All right, let's go. I hope it goes back up. We needed to go sideways for three to five candles, right? So we got two candles right now, but it's not going sideways. It's pushing down. We needed to go back up so we can place our entry order. You always trade fundamental announcements with entry orders, always. Right? Uh, good for you. Yeah, that's right, Abdul. All right, so there we go. We're going back up. All right. So now you can see we have three candles. One, two. Then we had a wick here, a body here, and a body here. All right. So now you can place an entry order below here uh, at uh, 133.86. I would put it at 133. Remember, you already got these down here already. So entry order would be 133.86 right there. All right. Then you got another one uh, on the break of the fib, right? Uh, the T30 right there. And another one on the break of the 33.50 right there. Three, three trades to the downside to 1331. All right, so there you go. Now that we've got a little confirmation and we've got a catalyst, all right? All right, back over to that pound dollar. What are we doing? All right, so you should have your trade in, all right? All right how many are in on uh, pound dollar down? Pound dollar down. Your entry order just got taken in. So Daniel's in. Mahmoud's in. Andy's in. Abdullah's in. Okay, so Edward's in. Good. All right, there you go. So we'll put a little note here. This is a live trade. Live trade fundy. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're good. All right, fantastic. Way to go. And you're looking good right now. All righty, pound yen. Come on, baby. There we go. All right, so there's the break. All right, now we've got, once you have the break, you're on a 10 minute chart. You now need to hook back up. And you see, it doesn't need to hook very much. All right, just back up there to set 153.73. All right, it will probably do that. Why? Because they, uh, they need a break hook and go here because they took buys right there. All right, so they're going to need to get out of those buys. So they'll go hook it back up to get out at break even. Bounce here, baby. Bounce on that T30, go back up, and then we'll have a go. Or we'll wait for the go. Let's hopefully we get it. Remember, if it blows and goes, you already got your entry orders in. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, well, yeah, I'd like to get this market order, but if, if, if it just takes off and goes, I'm still going to get three positions to the downside. All right. 
I'm currently up 15 on my uh, pound dollar. Right. Well, let's wait for the hook. That may take 10 minutes. All right. So let's go look at the pound dollar. Sweet, 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 sweet. Nice job, everybody. Working pretty well right there. Now, what, what you might consider to do in a, in a fundy is when you, when you, as soon as your second trade goes in, you want to go to break even on trade one. Uh, because it's, it's, this is a volatile move. There's no, there's no guarantee they're going to continue it uh, at all. So there you go. They're going to most likely come back up because they've got an unsustainable move to the downside. So we'll see. Second trade is going in below this T30. So remember that. One trade is at GJ on the hook. Get a hook, baby. Come back up. All right, so it is coming back up. See, there's the wick as they're driving it back up. They only got to do is get to this bottom at 69. They're at 60, so nine pips to the upside, and then it's uh, and it makes a turn. You're looking for enter when ready. Nine pips. All right, so previous support is resistance here. All right, always remember, whatever it was in the past, it's the opposite in the future. Right. Magdi's helping you here. See how it's talking to you. Uh, by the way, we're trying to move this down. We're going down. Oh, there's the break. Oh, okay. I got it. What's the rest of the chart say? Chart says, we're trying to go down. We're trying to go down. We're trying to go down. Wow. Trying to go down. Trying to go down. Won't take much of turn that down. <laughs> and this is already turned because it's a five minute. This is a 10 minute candle now. Uh, so that's a five minute telling you that, that uh, one of those candles was going to the down. You can see it right there. This will won't take much to close up and go down, and then you're ready to go. But we need a hook. We've got to have a hook. What if it goes? We're fine. We've got entry orders in. 85% of your trades are entry orders, folks. If you don't aren't doing that, that you need to get there. That's it. So every break of a barrier, if you still have room to the target, is an opportunity to add to the position. The pullback is your friend. You're in a trade. It pulls back 30 pips. You don't freak out. All right. Why do they pull back? To get more sellers or buyers in, depending on their direction. All right. If you're already in a buy or a sell, that's good news. And you go, no, it's going against me. No, you're trading that one lot. You're trading that lot, not the trade. The trade is the whole thing with multiple positions to the downside. Your mindset is retail still. You're still a scalper in reality, and you haven't had the paradigm shift. All right. So you have to do that. You have to get the paradigm shift. Until you do that, you will fall back into your old patterns. Right? And it's really hard for traders to get rid of old, old habits. 90% right? uh, of our traders uh, have been trading for three years or longer unsuccessfully. 90%. Right? All right. Did it go to target? It went to... Right there. All right. So now it's at, it's at previous support, now resistance. Watch for the turn. Watch for them to turn it. Now, how will you turn it? Well, if you see it's starting to be a wick in here, you get out of the one minute chart. All right. We only got three minutes to close this candle. So it would be great if it would close here. And then we see the next one come in red, especially if it has an arrow or a painted candle or a white dot. If you see that, that's the signal that the money is coming in. The follow through is here. We trade with the bank follow through. We don't trade with the tier one bankers. The tier one bankers are the ones who create the, the, the movements and create the structure, but they don't take it to target. Follow through takes it to target. We trade with the follow through. All right? So we're getting a nice hook here. That's sweet. All right? Now we got to be careful because if we don't get a go. We go right back up into the flag. All right? So you don't want to do that. See, they did that before here. See, they pushed it down through and they didn't have any, they didn't find any sellers. So they go back up to the top. Now they find sellers to drive it down. They and pull it back up. They find sellers to drive it down. See, it's right in the charts. It's always right in the charts. You just got to learn to read them. What are they doing today and why are they doing that? Well, right now they're trying to break a flag with a break and a hook. We've got two more minutes. Sit down. My uh, back is hurting me. Uh, pounds having trouble. I've been up in profit and uh, only got a couple pips. So oh, what's happening? Right, there we go. All right. So here's the great example. They ran out of sellers. Do you understand why they ran out of sellers? That's an unsustainable move. Professional sellers will not sell at the bottom. 
Professional sellers will only sell at the top, sell at the top, sell at the top. So they pulled it back up here, right? Now, what can we do? We can put a fib on it from the swing high to the swing low right there. And we're at the 382, all right? So that's a turning point. We'll see if it turns there and you missed the, the first trade, this is your opportunity to come back in again. All right? If you're uh, a little bit uh, less risk tolerant, I mean, more risk tolerant, you might add a position here. All right? And you, you can only take a trade. You can never take a trade at the 214. You have to go to the 382. And the risk, the reason for that is risk for reward. All right. So uh, we pull it up here. All right. See, so from the 214 retracement, the next target is the 270. That's all you can, that's all you can shoot for. You're shooting for the whole trade, but the next target is the 270, and you only are going to risk one to get 0.62. You can't do it. Right, but at the 382, you're risking one to do 106. So 382 is where you have to make the trade. If you get a trade to the 214 and it turns and goes, you don't make an offer, you don't take an entry there. Why? It's because you got rules. All right, so now you can see it's making a turn here to the downside. All right, so let's see what we get. Sweet, there we go. She's rolling for us. Yep. Doing good. All right. Let's see if the GJ is going to be good. There we go. All right. Anybody in GJ to the downside? GJ to the downside. I am. I'm up 15 pips. I'm 16 now. All right. All right. Javier. Uh, oh, all of you. Okay. There you go. So lots of traders in it. So, okay. So that is a live trade also this morning. Live trade to the downside, so we'll remember to do it tomorrow. There we go. Sweet, nice work, everybody. All right, so we got the GJ to the downside, and we got the uh, GU to the downside. All right, so almost a target here. All right, so you can see that's unsustainable. So what does that mean? That means it's gonna bounce. They're gonna have to go, because there are no traders who will trade it at the target to the downside. Uh, dumb money will trade it, all right? But smart money will not trade that. Right? They know in order to get smart money in, they're going to have to pull, they either do a flag or they have to do an ABC. So here, the, the, if they, and most likely they'll do an ABC here because we don't have much room here. See, so they don't have much room. If they had a lot of room, if this target was down here, they could put a sideways movement for the breakout to the target down there. But right now there's only 35, 40 pips in there. Right. So they won't do that. Most, most likely they're going to do a, they're going to bounce and they're going to do an ABC back up. Well, that means I got to take these positions off. Right. I can leave trade one on if I want to leave it on and, and hold for tomorrow's trade. I can certainly do that. When this makes a turn, I take the profit that's here and I put it back at risk there for this trade and this trade. See how it is? Uh, uh, 153, we're not near that. We're on the GU, which is at 133. Uh, 153 would be a, 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 a yen cross, about two digits. Are you talking about the pound yen? I'm not sure. Yeah, pound yen. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, there you go. <coughs> Coincidentally, the, the pound yen is at 153. <laughs> All right, we're at target now. So what do I do? All right, now you can see that I don't, uh, let me take this off. Yeah, so it's easier to see. I'm at target. So what do I want to do? All right, now I have, we should, I have two positions on here, right? But it's a fairly decent uh, chart, uh, candle. Right? which means they, they have some power in here. They're probably going to push it on through at least to the 153. So when it pushes to the 153, I should move all my stops to the ATR target at 153.09. I'm risking nine pips for the next target, which is at 152.56. Right? So 44 pips. Would you risk nine more pips with two, two positions on them to get um, 44 times two? So Nine pips times two is 18 pips. You're going to risk 18 pips for two, 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 uh, two, at least two positions, maybe three, or maybe one and two units for 44. Nine into 14, that's a one for four. Uh, I mean, uh, 18. 18 into 44 is what? No, it's one to two. A little better, one to two. All right, so what should I do? I should hold them. I should hold them here. Watch it. If it stalls, stops out, now I can make a decision. Do I take trade all of them off 
or do I take all of them off of trade one because trade one's got almost 90 pips profit and move that stop down to maybe plus 10 on that and hold it. Hold trade one. You got options here. As you see, they're pushing through it. Right? So they're trying to get to that 153. Right? There may be a barrier option sitting on there. I don't know. I have no clue. But you also know it's an unsustainable move. So when they're done, they're going to have to either do a flag or they're going to have to do an ABC to keep it going. All right? So the ABC is your problem. All right? The ABC is my friend is, as long as I don't lose money down here in my second position. All right? So I make a decision, if it stalls out here, to take the, that second position off with profit. Move the stop on trade one and hold, and then uh, you say, well, why don't you just take the profit and start all over? Because now i got to start over with my money, not their money. Right now i got their money. All right? So I have their money to use, not my money. So what do I want to do? I want to use their money. All right? Those of you who made the trade, you're feeling pretty good about yourself right now. Those of you who didn't trade it, ask yourself why I didn't trade it. Why didn't I trade it? It was right there in front of me. I just watched a bunch of traders trade it and they made money and I missed it. So find out what it was that stopped you from making the trade. What stopped you? Because that if you make a mistake and you don't confront them, you're destined to repeat them. All right. So we made the decision not to pull them off because we had a significant candle trying to push through. And sure enough, she has pushed through. All right. So we're in good shape. We're holding on that. Wow, I'm up 35 now on that second trade, on that, that trade right there. Pretty sweet. That's my second one. First one's up 70 pips, roughly. All right. So if it stalls out here now, I need to take those positions off and hold trade one for the bottom to the S6. See? Build a position, build a position, build a position, just like Frankie did. All right, build a position. Don't be afraid. You'll love to wake up in the morning and come in and look at your dealer station and it looks like this. All right, 7,000 pips still in. How many days? 14 days, 20 days, 21 days, 20 days, 14 days, 20 days, 12 days. Four. Look at that. Shortest one is 9.2 uh, down here. It's on the euro pound with a full standard lot. All right. 